Hello all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, we will be discussing this algorithm where we will try to understand how to find the smallest divisor of any given integer. So before we get on to understand uh, the algorithm itself, let us see what is the problem statement and also we will try to figure out the concept behind it. So once we become thorough with the concept, then we will go ahead and learn the algorithm. So the given problem statement is design an algorithm to find the smallest, smallest exact divisor of an integer n other than 1. Now what is the meaning of this? So here we, it is, we are talking about factors. When I say that exact divisor is nothing but the word factor. So we all know what is a factor is. A factor of a number is an exact divisor of that particular number. For example, if I have to say 4, the factors of 4 are 1, 1 completely divides 4, then next is 2, 2 completely divides 4 without with 0 reminder and then 4. Okay, similarly, if I have to take 9, 1, 3 and 9 are the factors of 9. So this is nothing but the factor. So that is what we are trying to find out here. When I say that, find the smallest divisor is nothing but we have to find out the divisor of any given number apart from 1. So you have to cancel out 1 and then whichever is the number you will get, you have to print it as a output. Okay. Now there are there can be three situations here. The very first one is what if the number is a even number? So in this case, we all know that in any situation when the number is even, I'm talking about apart from 2 because 2 will be a prime number. So apart from 2, if I have to take 4, the smallest divisor apart from 1 is 2, 6 again, once again 2 and 8 again 2, so on. Okay, so the moment we find out that the given number is an even number, you can simply say that the output is 2 because our job is to find out the smallest divisor apart from 1. Hence, for a given even number, the smallest divisor will be 2. Okay, that is our first, first situation. Second situation is, what if it is an odd number? Okay, so the moment it is an odd number, what we have to do is obviously we know that if it is an odd number, one is eliminated. Hence, we cannot, two is also not possible because it is an odd number. We have to start from three, start dividing the number from three and go on with all the odd numbers. Obvious reasons because it cannot be any other even number can never divide the odd number. So it has to be 3, 5, 7, etc. We have to go on. So here we can look the moment it is an odd number. We can start dividing that number by 3 and then we can go on moving on to the next odd number and divide and see that which is the smallest divisor of that particular number. Next situation is a case where the number given number is a prime number. We all know the definition of a prime number. A prime number is a number which can be divisible by either 1 or itself. So in this situation, we know that if it is a prime number, then since 1, we cannot say that the smallest divisor, the number itself will be the smallest divisor. In case of 13, the divisors or factors of 13 are 1 and 13. Hence, 13 will become the smallest divisor. So in this case, our output is going to be the number itself. So these are the three situations where we have to look into. That is the first thing. So apart from this, now how can we build a logic for this? So building a logic for that, we can have a look into the example okay and we will see that the first thing we said that even number we have to find out now how will you find out a number is a given number is a even number now there is something called as a mod operation which we have already discussed in the previous sessions where the mod operation always gives us a reminder so reminder will tell us that it is an even number or odd number how for any given number n, if I'm performing a mod operation with 2 and if I'm getting 0 as output, I know straight away that 2 is completely dividing this number and it is not giving any reminder which means it is a even number and then I can straight away print that 2 is the smallest divisor. Okay. For second situations, 
what I have to do is if at all the remind if at all the given number is not giving reminder 0 for 2 which means it is a odd number or a prime number so in this case I have to start dividing the number from 3 like I told you I will start from 3 5 7 etc I will go now up till where I'm supposed to divide the number in order to understand this let us also understand the factors how exactly a factors work now in any even situations we know that for example let me take the factors of 64 now what are the factors of 64 factors of 64 are 1 2 4 8 16 32 isn't it 32 and then 64 itself now can you see any relationship here now we know that a 64 ones are it is 64 2 32 is a 64 16 4 is a 34 uh, sorry 64 and 8 8 is a 64 now there is a kind of a relationship which means halfway till halfway that is until we go on to the square root 8 is nothing but the square root of 64 so if at all i'm starting from the beginning and up till until i go to the square root of a number this is nothing but the smallest factors and then after the square root this is nothing but the your bigger factors okay so this is your smaller factors and this is your bigger factor and how they are related the relationship is smaller factor into bigger factor will give me the number all right now since my job is only to find the smaller factor i can completely ignore the bigger factor okay since i need only the smaller factors and all that two the very first one which comes after the after one okay which means I have to iterate up till the square root of a given number. If I can do up till that, then it is fine. So let me take another number. Let me take a prime number, 13. What happens in case of prime number? So 1 and 13. All right. Now here what is happening is the moment I read 1 and after that if I am directly getting 13, which means I need not go up till here. The moment if I find the square root of 13, until there, if I am not finding any number apart from 1 which divides this particular number, I can straight away say that it is a prime number. Okay, because if it was not prime, we would have had a number which would divide it apart from 1. For example, let me take an odd number itself, 9. The factors are 1, 3 and 9. Now, what is happening here? Now, you are thus... Mm, this is nothing but our square root of 9. So square root is over here. So when I iterate from 1 until the square root, I am getting another number. So there is a number apart from the number itself, which means it is not a prime number. All right. So trying to say what, what exactly I am trying to say here is, once we know that a number is not even, and then I know that the number is odd, I have to divide, that is find a mod operation, mod operation between 3, 5, 7, etc. All the odd number until you reach the square root of that number. So you have to iterate that loop until the square root of that number. Then you can exit from the loop. So when you are performing the mod operations with all the odd numbers, if the reminder is 0, if you are getting with any of the number, then you can straight away say that that particular number is the smallest divisor apart from 1. And if at all, until you reach the square root of n, there are no numbers which is dividing the value, then straight away you can say that the number is prime number. So these are the three situations which we'll be discussing. All right. Now let us quickly go through the algorithm to find the smallest divisor of an integer. So we have a declare, you have to declare a variable n, r, and d, d, i, v. So this I will tell you what exactly here. This n is nothing but the value whose smallest divisor we are trying to find out. All right. So now next, read the value of n. So let me take an example. I will take an even number. Let me take 8. I want to find out the smallest divisor of 8. So read the n value if n mod 2, of course, 8 mod 2 is I'm going to get 0, then print 2 is the smallest divisor. So straight away, I will say that 2 is the smallest divisor, which is the correct answer. And then I will go to step 9 where I will end the algorithm. This is a situation 
when the given input is an even number. Okay. Now let me change this 8 to 9. Suppose this was 9. Then of course 9 mod this uh, 2 is 1. Hence it is not equal to 0. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the square root, which is nothing but r is equal to square root of n. I'm going to calculate and then I'm going to get the value 3 at r. Okay, now initialize divisor div to 3. So this is div is nothing but we are starting a loop where we are going to loop from 3 and we are going to um, check for all the odd numbers. If n mod div is equal to 0, then print div is the smallest divisor. So what exactly we are doing here? We are checking if in our case 9 mod div value is the initial value is 3. If it is 0, in our case, yes, it is 0. Then what we are going to print? Print 3 as a smallest divisor and then we will exit. Okay. So this was another situation. So we have checked for even value where initially itself we will find we will find the mod operations with two and if at all we are getting zero as output then i will say two is the smallest divisor and i will end the algorithm in case of odd i will go go through this loop where i will start from uh, i will put the value as r which is my upper limit which is going to be the square root of a particular value and then i'm going to uh, find out, loop it until we find our odd value which divides it completely. Now let us take a prime value. I will take a bigger value. Okay, so let me take 1013. So what we are going to do now initially, we are going to uh, find mod operation with 2. Of course, we are not going to get it as 0 because uh, of course 1013 is an odd number apart from it is a prime number. Hence, I will move on to compute the square root. So R, I am going to say uh, Save the square root of the number. The square root of the number is 31.82. Okay. So in R, I'm going to store 31.82. Initialize the div value to 3. Okay. And then we will start a loop where we will check if while div is less than or equal to R. R value being 31.82 and div being 3. Yes, it is true. Hence, I will start with my if condition. So the first iteration says if... The value that is 1013 mod div, that is nothing but 3, is it equal to 0? No, it is not equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, we would have printed the value. But in this, since it is not equal to be uh, 0, I am going to increment the div value by 2. 2 because I want the next odd number. Hence, once again, I will check that 1013 mod 5. Is it again? Is this next odd number dividing this value? No, it is not dividing. Hence, I will increment the value and then I will go back. Remember, every time we are going to check if the div value, which are whatever we have increased, is it less than r? Because like I explained before, we want to uh, iterate it only up to the square root of a number. The moment the r number goes beyond square root it is understood that it is a prime number all right so 1013 mod 7 this is also not equal to 0 hence i am going to increase the value to 9 next iteration i will increase it to 11 13 15 17 etc etc i will increase up till 31 so in the 31st situation, what will happen is 1013 mod 31 will also not be 0 because we have certain fraction here. So it is not going to completely divide it. Hence, it is not equal to 0. Next will be, I'm going to increment the value, div value to 33. So the moment this happens, when I'm checking what, whether div is less than or equal to r, but our, in our situation, the value of div has exceeded, that is, it is increased by r. Hence, I'm going to come out of this while loop because this is going to become false. So the moment I come out of this loop, I know that it is a prime number. So print n is the smallest divisor. So n value, which is 1013 itself, I'm going to print. Hence, my output is going to be 1013. All right. So this is how it will work for the prime number. So I have discussed all the things in detail for all the situation when the value is even, when the value is odd, as well as when the value is prime. And also we have seen the concept behind it where we have discussed that why we are only taking it up to square root. 
All right. I hope this is clear. So this is also a very simple algorithm until unless you understand the concept. In any doubts, in any situation, if you have a doubt, kindly um, mention it in the comment box and I will try to solve it as much as possible. So thank you so much for watching my channel, students. So keep learning, kindly subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.